post-surgery recovery, right? So I got a couple products I'm gonna share later on. They're not sponsored. They're just products I take that help with recovery, help build back ligament, help build back muscle strength, help improve performance, improve recovery time, stuff like that, right? But so on my left hip, I'm about four months, almost four months, little, little, little uh, shy of the four month mark. So we're feeling pretty good on that hip, um, which you can watch previous videos on how that recovery went. But on the right leg, we're getting there. We're walking around really well now. Um, can pretty much walk everywhere without pain. Um, we're doing lower body workouts now twice a week with weight, um, hitting that pretty hard, and then kind of taking PT as like a like an afterburner effect where I'm more using it so to recover a little quicker um, with the massage and the mobility and stuff like that. So I tend to just do mobility in the in the PT sessions, and then when I hit the gym, I hit the strength sessions hard. Um, just for me, I find myself working a little harder in the gym than I do in a PT setting. Um, so that's just a personal preference for me. Um, and of course, always talk to your doctor, talk to your physician, talk to your physical therapist about what to do. I mean, I've talked to mine. That's why I sent this plan where what we're doing is three days a week, basically just soft tissue massage, mobility stuff, um, a little bit of core work. And then in the gym, I'm doing the majority of the exercises there now. Um, so the first product I got for recovery that I've been taking that's pretty freaking... Uh, good and supposed to be uh, pretty pretty important for recovering uh, it helps with your ligaments tendons stuff like that um, it's also good for your skin hair nails because it's collagen right so first product we got if you see that right so we got collagen it's by U theory um, I actually got it at Costco so it's like six pills so if you're not a pill person um, they do have make powders so there's there's powders options one of those powders options is this it's collagen peptides um, I put it in my coffee I put it in my protein shakes it doesn't taste like anything so you don't even know it's there so um, can't hurt that collagen peptides a little bit different the peptides are like a broken down protein um, so again just for added recovery performance muscle rebuilding all that good stuff um, the next product is turmeric that I take which is just like a pill that kind of gives a, a natural um, healthier inflammation fighting um, response in your in your in your system there um, I just started taking it again because I was on you know they put you on these two pills so one of them is like two or both of them are actually to prevent the bone from building back up so be careful when you take that also you know when you're doing these consult with your physician again surgeon um, whoever you're dealing with physical therapist before you do any of that because you know like like this is an anti-inflammatory so taking it with that that certain pill can kind of disrupt your stomach system you know mess with your stomach lining stuff like that and you just don't want any of that so just talk to an expert first before you do it I'm not an expert but I do know a little bit um, the next one is I've been taking fish oil for like two years now but I've been reading a couple different books um, on nutrition and stuff like that um, so I got triple strength fish oil which has EPA, DHA, and a larger amount of the omega-3s, right? So the EPA and the DHA are super important, along with the, you know, obviously the omega-3s for fighting inflammation and stuff like that. It's also great for your heart, your blood, your brain. Um, so just a great overall supplement, again, for recovery. Just something to think about to add that into your, your um, maybe your nutrition plan there to help you out. Um, and then obviously, you know, right after your PT sessions uh, or your gym sessions, should definitely be getting your protein in. Um, you know, I think that the equation is like 0.75 times your body weight. And that's essentially how many grams of protein you should be eating a day for proper recovery. Um, and yeah, so that's all I got for now. Probably make another video in a while, maybe a couple of weeks, see where I'm at. Hopefully I'll be running or jogging by then. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you then.